Welcome to my channel. Today is going to be a part two video to my last video. Today I'm going to be doing a full face of Kosas makeup. This is a little sample kit here of pretty much the entire Kosas line and it's $35 and then you get a $35 credit towards your next purchase and I go into a little bit more detail in my last video so I'll have that video linked down into the description box but today we're going to be testing out all of these samples and doing a full face and I'm going to be rating the product and the actual samples. I do have the Kosas tinted face oil. This is one of my favorite products one of the only products that i've tried but i thought about using just like my normal tinted face oil but i did want to show you guys like how much product you get in the sample like is it going to be a full face so that is why i decided to do it this way so this is the tinted face oil i think i'm gonna try shade number two i do have shade number one but I am kind of curious of what shade number two is going to be like. Ugh, let's see. How hard is this going to be? Okay, so you get a little corner. And you just like try and peel it off. I'm so bad at stuff like this. <laughs> Ooh. Alright, so that is all the product that you get. A little bit more, a little bit less than what I normally use. Uh, this is one of the things that <laughs> you might have to do like two shades and mix it because this is not that much product at all. So it pretty much only covers up my cheek <laughs> with the product that I did use. So I guess I'm going to use the other one as well. Number one. Yeah, number one doesn't have... That much product either i don't typically use this with my fingers but i feel like you can get a little bit more product with your fingers and kind of distribute it better shade number one and shade number two from what i can tell are pretty similar in shade i don't feel like you can really get a good use out of the foundation to really test it out and see if you like it because I typically use a bit more product than both of these two samples. I do like the no makeup makeup look but I have used like the entirety of both of those samples and I feel like it is a very natural coverage. So I am going to go in with a little bit more of like forgot to shake it up. I'm gonna go in with a little bit more of like my normal foundation just to even everything out. I feel like I still have a bit of redness on my nose and whatnot. Like I feel like this little bit that I just squirted out on my hand is like more than what was in that entire sample. <laughs> entire both samples. This is like a bit of a tricky foundation though because you do have to mix it up it is like a serum it's such a pretty foundation though i would highly recommend this foundation if you have dry skin and even oily skin i have combination and this is just the right mix of what i need for my skin to stay normal throughout the day, doesn't clean on to dry spots, doesn't make me overly oily, and it has a very nice glow to it. Now let's try out the concealer. Concealer definitely looks a little bit more promising with the size of the samples. So you can pretty much get the whole like top row out of the little sample pack. So I think I'm gonna try one neutral one in. I'm super excited. I've never tried the concealer before. Just in like a little... That is a decent amount of concealer. I feel like this should have been the amount of 
foundation <laughs> and the other one should have been the amount of concealer. I'm gonna take a little bit and just kind of dot it. Yep. I feel like this shade was a nice idea. One in. So the concealer is a little bit thicker than the foundation. I like it. Let me know if you guys have tried any of these products. I haven't tried anything. <laughs> and I've been so excited to try more Kosas and Memorial Weekend is coming up. So we got heck of sales. Let me know if you guys are got your eyes out on anything. I feel like this is a lot of concealer. I've been using my Fenty. Um, what is the concealer called? Bright Fix concealer and so any kind of concealer that's like more than like sheer coverage I feel like I'm like whoa <laughs> I got makeup on ooh that looks so good I'm pretty pleased with this and I literally only used what was on this little sheet here so I feel like you can get a very decent amount of use out of this concealer so this is definitely five out of five i'm just gonna have to figure out how to save this so it doesn't like dry out <laughs> all right so let's get into the cream blush and highlight i am super excited about this i'm gonna use the velvet melon duo i definitely like these samples for the creams because i feel like i am gonna get a ton of use. This is a lot of product. Now getting it out of there is <laughs> it's the next. That's so tiny. <laughs> Let's see. Will my beauty wonder fit in there? A little bit. All right. Got a little bit on the sponge. Ooh. Ooh. Oh man. I just might have to pick this one up. If you're looking for a peachy blush, this one is such a nice peachy color. That is such a nice color. So it didn't move the foundation, applies really well. I really like the color of it. And I feel like I could get definitely two more uses out of the sample. So we're going good. I keep having to use the tweezers to open this. Does anyone have any tips on to open these? Highlighter time. I think I'm just gonna use my finger. It's very creamy. Oh yeah. This is like one of those very subtle looking highlights that almost like dewy look. If you guys watch my Tom Ford video, I feel like this highlighter reminds me of that Tom Ford bronze and highlight little duo thing. Ooh, I am looking at glowy. I just need to like get a bunch of products to like help seal this close. <laughs> I'm just like setting random like heavy objects on top of the samples, save them. <sighs> All right, so I don't have their setting powder. They just came out with like a, what is it? The cloud something powder, but I'm just gonna take a little bit of the hourglass setting powder and just go a little bit under my eyes and like my T-zone. All right, let's dip into the bronzers. So this one has like a little sheet on it. I'm very curious to see how this is gonna work. So I'm just gonna use the lightest shade. Just has like a little layer of like bronzer on there. Oh that is so interesting. It goes very nicely with the blush. <laughs> okay this is a lot better than I thought. I really thought it was gonna be like one dunk and then <laughs> I would be struggling to move the bronzer around, but it's looking pretty good. All right, so this sample, definitely looking good. Got pretty much a full use of the bronzer and I still have just a teensy, teensy bit left. All right, let's try out this 
air brown. I'm very curious. Oh man. Let's see, I'm gonna try out soft brown. They're all kind of in the same kind of format. I'm gonna have to cut so much of this video out of just me trying to open these samples. <laughs> oh, I'm so bad at this. That is a lot. <laughs> it's in the same kind of packaging, but this is a little spooly. It's super tiny. So I'm just gonna, uh, let's see. It's kind of hard to get an even little dunk into this. Okay. What I found is working is kind of picking it up and then like removing the accent, removing the extra product on the side of the lip and then like rubbing the other bristles along that like goop of product. Ooh. All right, soft brown is definitely the color that I like. Literally like one, once I finish this brow, this brow is like, set done deal but i really really like the eyebrow gel let me know what you guys think i haven't used like a new eyebrow gel in forever because if you guys know my normal tinted eyebrow gel is like running on empty and this is like the newest eyebrow gel that i've tried and i really like it it doesn't feel too like thick on the brows. It gave a really nice tint. I'm gonna go in a little bit with uh, my normal eyebrow pencil. Kozos does have an eyebrow pencil, but I did not get to try it. I'm really liking how this is looking. I'm gonna add a little bit more highlight just with my finger on the bridge of my nose. All of these products so far are really working well with each other nothing's like lifting foundation moving around nothing like that all right i'm gonna do my eyeshadow off of camera and then we can try out this mascara and then lips and then i'll give you guys my final thoughts all right eyes are almost done now it's time to try out the kosas the big clean mascara it's a little sample Ooh. Oh man, that is such a big brush and such a tiny little, ooh, wish me luck. I am not good at doing mascara. I would normally use a mascara primer, but I do want to test out the product itself in a sample. But I do like the shape of the actual brush. I feel like I can really get like all of my lashes. All right, mascara is done. I do like the actual shape of the brush, though I found that like really digging it around helps to get more product like in between the bristles because I feel like this stopper just really takes out a lot of the product off of the wand, but with a little practice, we got it and I do like how it made my lashes look. And I think I'm gonna try the Wet Lip Oil Gloss. And of course, I'm gonna try the shade Dip. This is one of those same, oh my gosh. This is all the product that we get. This is definitely a one use sample. Love the color of this gloss. That's pretty much the whole sample, but now let's rate everything. As for the foundation sample, I love the actual foundation, but I really don't think that the sample is going to give you a really good test run with the foundation. The concealer, love this kind of packaging. The concealer had a ton of product. I really like how the concealer looks underneath my eyes. I like how it feels. My whole like face is very... It doesn't feel like I'm wearing a lot of makeup. It feels very like clean. The blush and highlighter duo I am obsessed with. I really, really enjoy 
how this looks. The bronzer, surprisingly, I got a decent amount of use of. I didn't really, I wasn't very hopeful on this kind of packaging for the sample, but very glad that I got some of this. Eyebrow gel went very, very well. I really like the eyebrow gel. Mascara took a little bit of trial and error, but we got there. The lips, I'm obsessed with. I love the look of this. So if I were to pick some stuff up based on the samples, definitely the eyebrow gel, the cream blush and highlighter, the lip, and the concealer, I think are the things that really stood out to me. I already have the foundation, but with everything else, I feel like those products really stood out to me and I would definitely add those to my cart. I am looking for a new eyebrow gel. This is like, my eyebrows feel so like in place. I feel like I can really like feather them up and out. What trend that's going on? So as for the other products, like this and this and the lipsticks, I am going to be doing a video on all of the lipsticks in probably next week's video. Just watching all of the lip colors just in one separate video. And I might do like a TikTok video or an Instagram video using the other shades and products that I didn't use. Just not like a little review on like the samples and stuff. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. I had so much fun getting this whole little sample box. This is so handy. I really wish more brands would do this to get a little sample of everything in the line. My biggest complaint though would most likely be this kind of sample packaging just is not enough for a full face. Even opening two of the shades, I feel like it defeats the purpose of trying to product out. It really only is useful if you're just doing like a swatch color match. Like I feel like you have a better chance of using a concealer all over your face than the foundation. And I feel like it's only really suitable in this kind of sense with the lip gloss. But that is it for this video. If you want to watch my first video kind of breaking down the whole box and explaining what everything is, then that video will be right over here for you guys. This video will be suggested to you by YouTube and my face will be right here where you click on it and subscribe to my channel.